Hey guys, welcome back to LV's Tube. So today, I was scrolling down the, what do you call it, uploads list thingy majiki, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have, it has been so long until I've done a DIY slash crafting video. So I was like, hey, wanna do one right now? So I took all my stuff and here I am. So today we are gonna make simple doll decor. And yes, it's a DIY video, as I said. So make sure to subscribe to watch more Fabson videos and give a big thumbs up to make sure that I know that you really like these videos and if you want to see more. So, as I said, subscribe. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Let's go. So the things you will be needing is some colored paper and some printer paper. So I, here I have a folder full of um, nice colored paper. So I have blue, red, orange um, things. I also have printer paper. Now printer paper is really a nice choice because um, it's really cheap. It's really nice to afford and you can actually find them basically anywhere. Um, so yeah, so the next thing you will be needing is some glue tack. Now, an alternative for glue tack is super glue or a hot glue gun. Now, now I've run out of um, hot glue gun sticks and uh, hot, hot, super glue. And that's just a big coincidence. I don't know how. So yeah, the next thing we'll be needing is some scissors, a glue stick, a pen, and the last things you'll be needing, last but not least, is some sticky tape. Now I have some normal sticky tape. So now let's get on to the craft part. So I've just cut this um, to its desired size. It's not really a half an, half an inch and a half, but it's about it. You, it's your choice. You can make it like... And guys, remember to always have parent supervision when working with sharp objects. So as I said, it doesn't really matter what size it is because um, it's your choice, really, because I'm not going to tell you what to do because DIY stands for do it yourself, not follow others and do it yourself. <laughs> so first, so what we're going to do is roll this up into a nice uh, cylinder. Now you can use a pencil if you want, but if you don't, then yeah, because I, I normally don't use a pencil, but like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it nicely. You want it to be a nice cylinder shape, not really. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just do that. So it's nice and thick, it's really nice. So now what I'm gonna do is try to hold it with one hand and also get some tape to secure it with. So Okay, so I've got the tape here and I'm just going to tape it along. And we've done, we've done the thingy part. And now we're gonna go into step two. So, step two is to making the head of the lamp. So what we're gonna do is take our pen. I actually really wanna use this pen, it's so fuzzy. Okay, so let's get onto the craft. So you wanna draw like a um, circle. It doesn't really need to be that, uh, so I might actually make a small you want to be um, if you if you want to make it really perfect you should take this thing that we made earlier put it like that I think it's actually quite good shape so I'm just gonna put my pencil back and cut this circle out Now you just want to make little changes or neaten it up a bit. I don't think I really need to because I can't really see any pencil lines and it's actually quite a nice shape. So what I'm going to do now is cut through the middle to make like a nice cone little shape. So just like that. And guys, this just reminds me of those cool big summer hats like and you can only you could already see it nicely coming. So now we're gonna secure this thing in tape to it with tape and cut off the X. I'm actually gonna tuck it in. It doesn't really need, need to look perfect, guys, because you, you can see the really nice, nice uh, piece of paper over there. 
So now what you're going to do is try not to fold it in half slash fold it in half. And you want to just cut a little slip. Right there. You, know, you don't really want to here. Okay, now we're going to um, take this little guide, I suppose. <laughs> and I'm going to draw a little circle. Just gonna outline it, and I'm gonna see. Draw a nice little circle, and I'm gonna cut it out. Now I have a nice little circle. Now you wanna put it on top. Well, I think I have a um, craftical issue here. Get it? <laughs> So over here, if you can see, it's actually really big of from the thing, and I think I need to make an oval. Now I understand. So what I'm gonna do is outline it with like an oval little shape and cut that out. So now I'm gonna take this oval and place it on and see if it's perfect <gasps> guys it's getting together so now i'm gonna um secure it with tape on top of this lamp thing with tape as i said and as you can see it has this weird it looks great at the same time so now I'm going to use some blue tack to do this and put it inside this little cone kind of shape right there as you can see. And I'm going to take this cool little cylinder thing, it gives me of a bowl <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. So next we are going to, um, it's almost finished, it's actually looking really cool. So now what we're going to do is make, take this. So, here's my little cardboard thingy. If you have cardstock, it's actually really good because while I'm coming together, take this little pot and the only thing you need to do is attach it to the bottom. And what I'm going to use is some blue tack again. I'm just going to take a, a bit. I'm going to roll it into a nice snake around the brim, I guess. I don't know what this is, but like the little pot of lap I'm gonna take my glue tack attach it on and we're done simple as that our lamp is finished it looks amazing it only took us about five minutes to make and it looks beautiful I wish I had this lamp at my house I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe below and comment down which videos you want to see next so, I'll see you guys next time on another video. Bye!